So uh, let's call the meeting to order at 6 o'clock, um, the Woodbury Select Board. And the first uh, item is to discuss whether there are any adjustments to the agenda. I have a small one. Uh, the, at 7.20 p.m. we have an executive session during which we could discuss the bids for completion of the town's local hazardous mitigation plan with Norman. Norman's uh, subcommittee has reviewed the uh, three bids and four bids. Four bids and made a recommend have a recommendation, but so we don't have to do it in executive session unless you want to go through all the. Uh, what am I trying to say? The the, uh, the different bids. No, the uh, the recommend the recommendations from different clients and things like that. What do you call that? References. Yeah, references. Thank you. Uh, references are supposed to be confidential. But are and we so, are we getting a, a a recommendation from the committee? Yes. And they've already done that. Yeah, they have. So I would I'd be fine with going on their not doing a recommendation. Okay. So when, okay. So when so we get to that we'll point, we don't have to scratch that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But Norman will be here, so. Okay. Any other adjustments to the agenda? All right. The next uh, is to discuss the minutes from the April 29th meeting. Is there a motion from a member of the select board? I think I left this. To, I left them over here somewhere. There they are. There they are. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion to approve them. I did have to make a couple of little changes because I got some numbers wrong under the uh, uh, the FEMA report. These are, but these are uh, amended. Um, amended from the. From you said you had to make a few changes. Yeah, I yeah, made yeah. a couple of corrections here. Um, but this is the correct one. This right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not the same as exactly the same as the draft. But. Yeah. Well, we're small buyers, so we don't need a second. Um, okay. All those in favor of approving the minutes as written from April 29th, 2024, please say aye. 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 All right. They are approved. I've signed. Thank you. Diana. And um, public comment. Um, huh. We don't really have anybody in the public section. Uh, I don't know if you gentlemen have anything else other than your business here that you want to comment on publicly. Anything not on the agenda? <laughs> I do. All right. Oh, now's okay. your moment. Yeah. Let's hear. So I saw a lot of uh, email chat regarding. The uh, bicycle signs mm. on our gravel roads, mm -hmm. and I'm just wondering why all the chatter on email, since it was already approved how many years ago, Michael? Uh, four four years three, ago. Three or four years ago. Uh, the roads haven't changed. The need has probably increased. So I'm just wondering why the chatter on email. That's the, all. It's, it came up a year or so ago, and. Um, I think it was Lizzie that had some concerns about the, you know, I had questions about the wording. I think you had some concerns about the placement Yeah, I had concerns about the clarity like that, so. of the signs. And then I also just, you know, had the thought that if we, which it turns out we don't, but that if we had had some random signs that would fit the purpose of warning people that weren't exactly the same, um, that maybe we could save the cost. Uh, we don't have any signs kicking around, so that's the point. But... I think I sent an email too with the cost that we uh, yes. were able to yeah. quantify like four years ago. Michael or sent like us a whole bunch of. Yeah. Michael Sadler sent mm -hmm. us a whole yeah. report. I could, I could deluge you guys with more if you want. I yeah. think he also sent us another report that I might not have opened yet. He said he could not make it to the meeting tonight. Right, so we'll no. do yeah. it next week, next two weeks from now. I, and I will say from my perspective, like it did read, the signs did read like cyclists may use the full road. Encouraging cyclists to be out in the middle of the road is how it 
felt it's like it read. How it if, felt to me too. I don't. I don't have a strong opinion about it. If that seems clear to everybody else, then I think. I, I couldn't tell if lane when it says entire lane does it mean the right lane or the left lane or does it mean the traveled lane? That's what I thought was confusing because it shouldn't be. We shouldn't be encouraging bicyclists to right in the middle of the road. I mean, they can. Most of the time, it's fine. I did, have, <laughs> I did have a conversation with Michael. Um, you know, I was out working in the garden, and he and Natalia were walking by, and we did talk about the wording on the signs, and, and did kind of come up with some variations that might be less vague to, you know, more specific. Um, and uh, I think, you know, he... I think he can come to the next meeting. I think it would be good for yeah. him to, you know, because be, I think maybe the wording would be helpful. And mm -hmm. as a person who rides a bicycle on the roads, the safest place to be on a bicycle is sort of in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, the shoulders are pretty treacherous mm -hmm. on the bicycle because they're yeah. soft and rocky. Um, mm -hmm. So, anyway. And you can hear cars coming. Yeah, yeah. If you're down on a I, motorbike. Yeah, I usually get on the side of the road that the car is not approaching from. So sometimes it's the wrong side, but I'm giving them plenty of room. So anyways, the fact that whether or not it was approved by a previous board, I don't know, we have another project up the road here that was approved by a previous board, and now it looks like that's going to not be as easy as it was uh, one board, previous board, was convinced that you could take out that curb up by, well, I still call it Winston's Hill, without any additional cost to the town, and it was approved at that point, and then we realized that that wasn't correct. Mm -hmm. So, different and also... Kind of, different kind of project, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, but definitely, is, but in fact, the fact that it was approved by a previous board... I get that, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Robin, when you let go. My first thing is, um, I know I've sent this around to everybody, but it's about the fire alarm system in here. Oh, oh yeah, right. About they, how it wasn't working? Right. Yeah. yeah. You were going to follow up with him? I did. Yeah. So I sent an email out to Rusty, and then I also sent, like, same email. I sent it to Rusty, and um, I can't think of his name, but the guy who's the... Dave Brosher? Yeah, I think so. He's for OSSU. He's, like, yes. building mm -hmm. person. Yeah, like he's the new Larry. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I sent it to both of them, and I do not believe I ever heard back. Mm -hmm. So I can follow up on that, and I will. What, what letter did you get? You sent something around, you said? Yeah, I sent it around on May 2nd. Oh, That I was getting okay. a call from Dave Brosham. Oh, okay. That the, and um, I understand that the library is concerned that their portion isn't up and going either. Oh, but there was part of this whole thing that we that's, paid for? That's the way we understand it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the system is for the whole building. And so you're going to follow up on that? I will read emails. First I'll double check and make sure that they didn't respond and I didn't just miss it. Um, but I'm pretty sure I didn't hear back. <laughs> okay, and we have had a concern from a property owner in Woodbury about the high water issue due to the beavers mm. down through here on Route 14. Mm. He says that it is damaging his property. Who is it from? Chris Wright. Which? Is it the in, in South yeah, Woodbury? No, 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 this one right here. He owns Shatney's old garage. Oh, okay. Um, I will check that out. I wasn't aware that there were beaver uh, damming up that. I mean, they have in the past. Yeah. Do you want me to forward you the email that sure, I got I'll, from? I'll respond because to the from him corresponding back and forth with a Tyler Brown? Yeah, Tyler Brown is the fish and wildlife beaver person. Okay. Yeah. Did somebody buy the apartment house? Or yes. Oh, so Chris doesn't own that? He does not own that anymore. And it has a new nice front porch on it. Yeah. Yeah. And I 
And then the other thing is, it looks like there could be some more funding that we could apply for. And it says it didn't have to be anything that was damaged by the flood of July 23. Hmm. It will be funding that can help so it doesn't flood <coughs> another one. Oh. Hmm. I would be curious about that just for the project with the brook here in the village. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can send you guys the email that I received. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I have is I would like to thank all of the, I believe, gentlemen. There could have been ladies involved, but mm -hmm. <laughs> for getting the speed signs up and working. Thank you. The one by Blake Hill right over here, and then the one down by Woodbury Lake. What uh, happened? They're working? Yeah. That's great. So were, that, were you doing that this morning? Yes. It, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. We were putting one of them back up when he went by. Yeah. Oh, good. We they were easily fixed. The new one or the... Uh, we put the new one up where it was meant to mm -hmm. be by yep. Woodbury Lake, yep. and then we kind of made, took parts out of others to make them all work. Oh. Uh, so they're all nice. in place and they're all working properly. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. There's one that needs to be, the new one needs to be, um, needs to be reset. Because mm -hmm. it was set for 35 miles an hour and that's oh. a 40 yeah. speed limit through there. Mm -hmm. So that's just a matter of mm -hmm. programming it, and Skip says that's a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Skip, thanks for, you did all the tinkering, right, to make them work? Well, I programmed them, but tinkering, okay. taking them apart, uh -huh. no, the road crew did that. Oh, yeah, we did okay. That. <clears throat> we well, did thanks to all yeah. of you guys. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Basically plug and play. If you see a damaged component, just take one out and yeah. snap it in. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty simple. Mm -hmm. So does that mean we're down, are we down one because you were taking damaged components from it? We're not missing We've one? We've got one that we can still take parts from. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because we replaced one through FEMA, the yeah. one by, by Woodbury Lake. Okay. So we put that one new up. That one incidentally still works. Okay. So we well, the one that was, the, was damaged in the flood still work? Yes. Oh, cool. Oh. Yeah. So you can use that for parts? We just or? charged the battery and, oh. and it went to working. So Don't tell people. We, we used it's that one down on the north side oh. by the town line, mm -hmm. or south side by the town line. Mm -hmm. And then we used parts for the one on Lake Hill Road. Right. So there, every, everything is up and running and mm. until the next incident, I suppose. Until they're not. Until they're not, right. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, thank you, Robin, for recognizing that. Yep. You saved us $10,000. We did. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, Robin, unless you have anything else, we can roll right into the road commission. Yeah, you can roll right oh, in. I'm sorry. It's, yeah, it's the road report next. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you guys did get reports from Brandy this week. Yeah. Where's it here? Okay. I wasn't sure where you were sitting. <laughs> June 21, pretty, Michael. Pretty stagnant. Um, we've been grading every chance we can in between raindrops. Uh, we're almost around once. We've got a couple of the small roads still left to do. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to talk about the speed carts, but we've already covered that, mm -hmm. uh, or the speed signs. We are on, starting this week, we're doing the four 10 hour days oh. so we're we won't be working Friday unless there's a incident and then mm -hmm. feel free to call and we'll we'll mm -hmm. take care of. Um, yeah I was I just remember about this the sand, the winter sand I remember at a meeting uh, that was mentioned that we were out of our contract or that we would have to put it back out to bid. Mm -hmm. But it turns out, I guess you did some research and sounds like we're all set for another year. Yeah, I went to over to Gravel Construction and said, it looks like we're still good. And he said, yeah. And I can understand why if you said 
At one point that he didn't wish he didn't do a three-year contract, it's probably because of the price. The price, <laughs> right. that's right. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. He probably but won't do a three-year, you know, that far out again, right? Yeah. But he does have to honor the, yeah. the contract mm -hmm. and the contract price. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, but I see where it said, it said uh, it's available in August. So does that mean we can't start hauling until August? Unless they change it, you know, if they're ready and they want you to send it, that means they want you to start yeah. hauling it. Was that, was that in the contract? Yeah, it is. It is, okay. We're just saying, contractor shall provide 10,000 cubic yards between August 8, 2022 and June 30, 2025. <clears throat> uh, somewhere here it says that. Yeah, I remember seeing it. Is that a problem? Product um, availability pickup at the pit available by August 6, 2022, August 12, 2023, and August 10, 2024. Okay. Do you have this whole thing? Do you want? I don't, but yeah, that'd be good. Um, I don't need yeah, it's not really a problem. It's just it's just something that we could fill in, you know, yeah. with, ask, with ask time. Him. Throughout the summer, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll just ask him and see if he's if he's got some. You can haul it. And we can haul it. Um, mm -hmm. Particular days where we can't be outside or we can't, you know. The uh, there's also something on there where they give us a discount if we pay in advance. So we should discuss that before um, July first and right. see what Brandy thinks about that. I think she did. I don't know if you paid the whole year or a half year. I but of course the whole... As I remember last year, it was she did half and half. Yeah. Like we'd haul half of it and then pay, she'd pay and then the other half. Yeah. Is the way I recall, but yeah. uh, we'd have to look at the budget and see mm -hmm. you know, right. what's left in there if we want right. to use it up before July 1. Oh, good point. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. that way, that would... To pay some early out of this year's budget. Yeah. That would give us more incentive to haul it ahead of time, you know, before that. Right. Mm. Mm. Um, so, other than that, oh, um, last fall we talked about the highway helping the cemetery fix their road. Yeah. Uh, is, it, is that still a green light? Is that is there any discussion we need to have about that? You had offered to bring your tractor up and use some town material and yeah, the town would haul it in and spread it the best they could with the problem with a small truck. Yeah, and I would raise it out yeah. with my tractor. I, that offer still on the table. Yeah, that was my understanding. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll just fit that in among other mm -hmm. projects. Um, you know, it's not the highest mm -hmm. priority, clearly, mm -hmm. but it's something that I want to get done. Mm -hmm. Are you going to mention it just to Susan Stigley, seeing she's the chair of the cemetery commission? Um, I can I can reach out to her for sure. Yeah, I mean, she was totally all for it. Yep. Well, I remember yeah. that. So yep. uh, I can just let her know that it's going to happen. Right. Uh, and when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we had, oh, this is not, we're looking at sand, not sand. Yeah, it looks like we kind of spent our money on the sand. Oh, maybe not. I can't really touch your budget. FY24 was 25000 Maybe we've only spent 11000 Look at page 12 of the budget that I have. Actual FY23. Yep. No, but we're in 24 now, so the budget for 24 was 25,000. Actual 11 months of 24. Actual, so yeah, we have kind of spent that. Looks like we spent yeah. 25 five and yeah. we have 25 budgeted, so. So. So we have to wait until after July 1. <clears throat> well, it's, yeah, it's up to Brandy, I guess, depending on how much, if any, um, 
one she has available if she's still running low because of FEMA. And then can I bring up the Quarry Road uh, thing at the right time? Um, the letter went out. The old cabin road? In the old quarry, is it? Oh, old quarry. Do we do? Yes, we do. The same. Same. Old quarry. We do have it down, down here. here. Okay. Great. But it is kind of a rough thing, so either way. What's our time for the minute? Yeah, okay. okay. We well, can wait. Okay. Or, you know, I simply okay. just. Whether we're telling that vehicle later. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we can talk about it later. Right. Uh, the only other one other thing that I had is just to mention that I'm about to start on the county road extension. Plus four part. So that's where our energy will be going for a while. It's a mess up there. It, it is, is a mess. Yeah, it's amazing. Is, yeah. 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 We what are great to begin with, but right yeah. now it's. You have to get that big loader again? Um, yes, we'd like to rent an, an excavator mm -hmm. for that. Like the right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're, we've got a hydraulic study ordered for the culvert mm -hmm. that is that has caused this whole mess but oh. we can we can fix it without replacing this culvert oh uh we're, we're going to replace the culvert but i just mean yeah. i can get started on it before uh -huh. the culvert goes oh because the hydraulic study is just based on that culvert okay. so we do most of the work up like uphill of that culvert or it's actually downhill down 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 down. so if we get another big event mm -hmm. Yeah, the hydraulic study wasn't completed. You could wash out all your new work. Um, potentially, mm -hmm. potentially. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry. Uh, what did you say about the hydraulic study? It was done or not? No, it's, it's sure. I'll, I'll post an inquiry about that because mm -hmm. it seems like it should, it should have done it right by now. I think. Right. I mean, essentially, the hydraulic study. Uh, tells us what size yes, culvert to mm -hmm. put in there, mm -hmm. and FEMA requires hydraulic mm -hmm. study, so mm -hmm. that's why we're doing yeah. it. Um, uh, and also the, the streams alterations uh, requires that as well. So, but I think, I mean, there's a lot of material to move. That's mm -hmm. why I'm yeah. sort of jumpy to get started on it, mm -hmm. uh, to get that filled in. I did I did uh, secure some material from our neighboring town, Callis, mm -hmm. uh, and I've got a stockpile, mm -hmm. so it'll be easy to move it over there when we're ready. I didn't get as much as I wanted because I wanted the whole pile, but they had to move it quick and they had other trucks there moving it, so, um, but we did get a bunch of it. Um, mm -hmm. It will save us a bunch of time and, and money as well. Um, so I guess that's all I've got, unless there's questions. Mm. Well said. Thanks. The roads are pretty good shape right now. I mean, yeah. as as, you know, it's drying out mm -hmm. nice, and we've been grading every chance we get, and mm -hmm. raking and chloriding. So. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank okay. You. The recovery officer's report. All right. Uh, as we talked about earlier, the speed radar sign that was damaged now installed. So that added $5,500 to the project's total, which now stands at $330,000, $330,200. So at 97.8% federal and state reimbursement, the total due back to Woodbury is $322,935. And two cents. <laughs> so a hydraulic study, since we were also talking about, about hydraulic studies, those are completed for town highways 23 and 24 and the, the bridge repairs. So I sent you guys an email on May 7th uh, with those hydraulic studies attached mm -hmm. and noted in one of my sentences, I believe these studies ought to be used as the basis for RFPs. Because uh, if you read them, I don't know if you read them. Uh, there's, you know, this is definitely out of my scope. But it, 
does give replacement recommendations. And mm -hmm. there's about <clears throat> seven or eight paragraphs here mm -hmm. indicating that in this case for Town Highway uh, 24, uh, their replacement recommendations include a concrete box with an inside opening span of 16 feet and a minimum height of 7 feet. Mm -hmm. Then it goes on and on and on about where it should be placed and should be placed and how high it should be placed and what kind of fill it should be used. <coughs> so this is a very comprehensive really? study. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this placed in the scope of work of an RFP would be great. It would do, you know, whomever would mm -hmm. be responding to the RFP, uh, you know, a comprehensive review of what we're mm -hmm. requesting. And also, FEMA's going to take a look at this. Uh, I sent it to FEMA as well, because these are mitigation projects. Mm -hmm. So they will pay the money for the mitigation projects, but they want to be certain that, number one, this hydraulic study has mm -hmm. been completed, and that we adhere to the, in this case, what I'm calling the scope of work or the <coughs> recommendation in the hydraulic study. So, so you are, you, does the hydraulic study give uh, an assortment of recommendations, or is it just one? This gives one recommendation mm -hmm. <coughs> for, each, for each road. And so, mm -hmm. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, the team is going to pay for it. You know, I think mm -hmm. one recommendation would be enough. And uh, the gentleman who completed this, Keith Friedland, hydraulics technician, uh, put a lot of work effort into this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I would say that this is what should go into the RFP. And have you have you looked at those, I don't think? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a question about that. Isn't Nate Seacard doing the design work for that? He is. Yeah, so, so he has those. He received those. Did he? He did, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Michael, you sent them. Yeah, yeah I sent them on yeah. to everybody. Yeah. 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 So he'll... And that'll he'll, make his work easier. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And that's, what he, was, that's what he was waiting for in order right. to yeah. start his work. Yeah. He, he needed those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and essentially there, the hydraulic study gives you the size of the opening required. Mm -hmm. So you can use different material, whether it's a concrete or aluminum or whatever, as long as the size of the flow is mm -hmm. is what's recommended in, the, in there. But the recommendation, this is more than just a hydro, hydrological study, it's hydrological study and a recommendation for a right. yeah. installation. <coughs> so. yeah. Yeah, no, it's very, it's very beneficial for us to have that, and it should help uh, with Nate also. It should help Nate with his work. Are they both um, concrete box culverts? Oh, I think one was... One's a concrete box, and the second one... One's a concrete box. So they're, they're I thought they both were. I was pretty sure. I think they're recommending both box colors. Yeah. Oh. Are those are precast. They are precast. 16 mm -hmm. feet foot span. Yeah. And they come in short sections. You know, depending on how wide they are, they come in five foot, mm -hmm. five or six foot sections. Yeah. Not so heavy. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they got to come in on a truck and then we set them with a crane. Uh, once we get the ground prepped, the crane will come and set it in place and they walk together. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're down here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I same like as some what of that. Yeah. Interesting. Same as what they did down mm -hmm. here in the village. Yeah. So, um, have, Michael, have we heard back from Nate in response to the... Um, no. No, I haven't. Okay. He just said he received them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering. Yeah, he did. Thank you. Should send them on to him. Yeah. yeah. Is he a sole source contractor for the town? I'm sorry? Is he a sole source contractor for the town. For what? For whatever he's doing. He's doing, he's doing the engineering that we did in, in two separate contracts for $7,600 or so okay. each. So he's working off an existing contract. Yeah, that's the one we signed. He said Dino was not happy that there was not a beginning and ending date. Right. And that his, his Report will be part of an RFP, I think. Sure. I think part of his contract is to do the RFP. Yes. 
Okay. So that would, he, he, he would and also put it out to bid and right. the whole right. the whole thing. Yeah. Site visit and all that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. And other permits. I think that's another part of what he does. Is mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, before, well, as the RFP goes out, I'd like to see it mm -hmm. so I can look at the terms and conditions in it mm -hmm. because uh, FEMA has you know, rules and regulations that they require you to follow mm -hmm. if you want to get reimbursed. So yeah, I, I, I can send it to you. I won't bore you with all this. You, you could send that to me. Yeah, I'm sure he's probably aware of it, but you could send that to him so that as he's working it up, he, he's aware of what FEMA's going to want. Okay. Do you have, I don't have this. I, Could I'll, you send I'll, it to yeah, me? Yeah, send it to you. Yeah, because there are some definite stipulations in here. Yeah, I don't know if he can get on to the SAM.gov website. I don't know that. Yeah. yeah. So you have to do that to check on debarred or suspended contractors. Mm -hmm. You know, they may be okay in Vermont, but they can't do any federal government work, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, yeah, I'd love to, I'd like to work with them on that project. And probably with Brandy, too, to make sure that uh, the insurances are, mm -hmm. are enough, adequate, to protect the town. All right, do you know when he's going to Get to that RFP because I'm sure the mitigation. Well, he has to do the work. I mean, he has to do the design work first right. before he does an RFP. Right. So, do you know when he's going to get to do? He said he would be doing the work. Um, I think he said the latter part of the summer yeah, and late summer. have it done for fall, possibly a late fall yeah. contracting. Which means we'll probably need an extension oh, yeah, for the project. There'll be an extension to yeah. next year. Mm -hmm. okay. so, and FEMA's aware of that. Mm -hmm. I've already teed that up, so they're aware that it's going to be probably another 18 months before we can get that fixed. Yeah, those darn winters, they put yeah. everything behind. I wonder if one of us should touch base with Nate now that we've got the hydraulic study to him mm -hmm. and just see if we can't speed that up mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe if, you know, seeing, seeing the hydraulic study, he knows what size to go right. now maybe. And, and if we use that that uh, recommendation, it should be pretty this straightforward. Is work, right? <laughs> yeah, right, right. should be pretty straightforward mm -hmm. and maybe he can yeah. easier fit it in for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if we don't mention it and we just go along with his first uh, estimate of time, then I think that's what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe a, a, a call to push him along might be mm -hmm. might be useful. I think that's a good idea. I Let's can do that. that. Thanks, Dan. Okay. So <clears throat> a check on the <clears throat> FEMA grants portal. And that's where all our information resides, all our projects. So there are, <clears throat> again, there are no obligated projects, which means there's no money being sent to the Department of Public Safety on our behalf. And so there's no subgrant agreement in place yet. Uh, one project, Old Quarry Road, is still pending the Consolidated Resource Center review. That hasn't changed since since I gave my last report two weeks ago. And I don't know what's holding them up because no questions from them have appeared in my email. So I don't know what the holdup is. And again, a CRC will look at the project for costs, including material equipment and labor, mm -hmm. to make sure that what we've done and we're not overcharging or over, being overcharged for equipment or material. And one Another project, which is the North and South Parks, that changed from uh, pending initial project development to pending insurance peer review. And I have no idea what that mm. is. So that thing is, a, North and South Parks, that project is $4,888. Mm -hmm. So I talked with a guy today who was in uh, the mitigation team. We were talking about the, uh, mm -hmm. the bridges. <clears throat> and he said, he asked, he said, so are you planning on mitigating the fence in South Park? 
you know, mitigating, you know, to prevent damages to the fence in South Park. And I said, what? Yeah. It's the first I've heard of it. So he said, yeah, that was damaged, and we're wondering if that's going to be a mitigation project. So here's a fence that they're hung up on, you know, two six-foot sections of split rail fence, and they're asking if we want to mitigate that. Well, the, the VJ has put two mm -hmm. sections up, sort of, like, like in the middle of the park. It looks right, kind of right. dumb. <clears throat> yeah, but they're, they didn't ask about whether we want to replace those $500 maple trees or... I don't think we do, but no. Right. So, <laughs> so, so said, the answer should be no. I, we're, yeah. not, we're not mitigating that. <laughs> so I asked him, how you, how would we mitigate that? He said, build a stone wall around it. And I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to mitigate that. <laughs> so, anyhow, yeah. these are the kinds of questions that come to me every once. The uh, <clears throat> it looks like the grass is going to grow. It's always greener on the other Under side. Under all that uh, mulch and seed mixture, whatever it is that they put down. Because yeah. we do have money in for, you know, more topsoil and seed if we need it. That was part of that estimate we got from Richardson, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't think we're going to need it. Yeah. Well, that was just a proposal. It wasn't a contract. Right. 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 But it was a proposal for, you know, yeah. estimate of what we might need. We don't need it. We don't need it. That's correct. So the remaining 12 projects are still designated as pending initial project development. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> the program delivery manager is away on vacation still. And his replacement talked to me today and he said they remain behind on all their projects. Mm -hmm. So anyhow. I just can't imagine. I mean, as detailed and crazy as this is for this little town, I can't imagine what some of the bigger places are going through. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and, you know, they changed the rules. You can recall about a month ago. They said that what they're going to do is do, I forget the, uh, the, the term, they're going to take us at our word that all these projects cost what they cost and then send the money to us. Yeah, yeah, it's called, uh, it's, I have it here somewhere. Uh, and so instead of going through all this review process, and you know, this is just like so slow. Yeah, but you've been keeping all those invoices and everything. And they have them. Oh, well, they have them yeah, already. Yeah, but up, just... on, up on this grants portal, they have everything. <laughs> and so it's going to be a short, I forget what the term is, forgive me. And, so supposedly they're going to send us all the money, and then if they have questions, they'll come and ask us, like paying yeah. taxes. Uh, yeah. you, know, you know, the federal government says, okay, you did this, you did this, and it, when you get audited, you have to prove it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's similar, and oh. uh, hopefully they'll send us three hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars, and then, you know, they will ask for forgiveness if yeah. they find anything wrong. But I don't <laughs> think they will. Well, that makes yeah, it easier think, for them. I think we've got pretty good records of all, yeah. of, all of this, of the invoices and all the sure mm -hmm. time cards. And, mm -hmm. and I, think, yeah. I think we'll be safe there. Yeah, we are. It would be nice if, it could come, if we could get that money before we set the tax rate. <laughs> well, that's what I'm hoping. I, I, yeah. I, that would be amazing. Yeah. Because mm. the tax rate gets set around, when, around August. Like, August, yeah. yeah. Like stretch. Yeah, maybe some of it at least. <laughs> uh, Let me see what I can do on that. <laughs> and so the rest is just I continue to respond to FEMA, the program delivery managers, the mitigation team, and uh, Department of Public Safety, and, and you know, emails come across my desk a couple of times a day. So. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not as busy. We're not as busy as we were initially mm -hmm. last fall, but this is more like babysitting these folks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take some time. Is that um, email that came in about um, the one that's sitting there right under your blue paper? No, no, I'm sure. More towards Michael. The one. That one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. <clears throat> the first I hear of that. Okay, that's all right. Robin. Oh, okay, so it's, no. okay. Look at that. 
So, here's the email with the term. <clears throat> Simplify procedures. And this is from the Vermont Emergency Management. Simplify procedures allows applicants to certify their own damages and work based on summaries using the attached small permanent work project certifications and acknowledgement form. God. Mm. Mm. Applicants do not need to gather comprehensive documentation before the FEMA program delivery mm. managers submit small projects to FEMA's consolidated resource center. Mm. So if they had told us that last fall, we would have been really happy. But, <sighs> but in essence, you know, we don't have to produce that now since it's already produced. Wow. So. It's almost like uh, this year I e-filed my taxes for the first time and it was like magic. They didn't look at it. They just sent me the check. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Although they might yeah, still, really. they, they, they still <laughs> might look at it. <laughs> thank you, Skip. Yeah, thanks. Uh, next agenda item is the town hall roof um, and approve the issuance of a RFP and who will help repair it. So, at the beginning of the whole ARPA thing, we had a little group that got together and had some meetings and hired some contractors and did, did a study of um, how we could make the town hall into a more usable space because at that time we were looking for places where we could have meetings and still be six feet apart. Mm -hmm. And uh, Michael had ordered all the... Uh, Zoom equipment and all that stuff, and we had the uh, uh, internet and phone line put in, and and then it all sort of came to a halt, and um, the board did not approve the money to work on the town hall. So I'm still hoping to get that done in little bits and pieces because it is a, I think it's the oldest town hall in continuous use as a town hall in the state. And um, we did get a, when I was preparing this report for the FEMA committee, um, I mean the request, I did get one estimate for the roof, and that was $12,600. It's, you know, probably a low bid. But it wasn't a bid, it was just an estimate that I could use uh, when putting together the proposal. So now I would like to have this board agree that that north side of that roof should be replaced. You might want to look at it. You probably already looked at it. It's very rusty. It's very rusty. It's a metal roof. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the south side looks fine, but the north side is very rusty. So I'm not a professional, but to me that doesn't look good. Is it, leak, do, are the, is it leaking? I don't think it's leaking yet. Leaks? We don't have, have any yeah. indication that there's water damage. We did have, we did pay to have the bats eliminated. And the, the person who did the bat elimination did some repairs on the, uh, on the soffit so they wouldn't get back in, but they didn't do a permanent repair. So that's also going to have to be done. So I don't know whether the bats came, got back in or not. I think they put some kind of screening or something. Okay. Well, would it be okay to put this on um, next sure. two weeks agenda? Yeah. And then in the meantime, we'll I can look, get yeah. over there and right. take a peek. Yeah. And, um, if you want to go up, you have to bring okay you. Absolutely. I would want to look too because okay. I probably looked at one point. Anytime you want to go in, I've got a key. And okay. if you need to bring a. Ladder, you need to bring a ladder because there's a hole in the roof. I mean, a hole in the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> there's a hole in the roof is a whole other. No, that's that's yeah, a real problem. Right. <laughs> if that's the case. We hope not. <laughs> Although, when, when the guy um, who did the historical evaluation went up there, he did, he did look, you know, at everything. And um, uh, and my memory of that is that um, it did appear that the south side of the roof had been redone, but mm -hmm. the north wasn't mm -hmm. at some point in the mm -hmm. past, but nobody... I thought that was screwed up, I'm not all yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. 
Um, all right, moving on. Uh, okay, so next week. We'll if that's okay. Uh, appointments. Um, we have uh, a gentleman, Kevin Spaulding, to represent Swenson on the Rail Trail yeah. Committee. Yeah. Um, do we have to make a motion for that, or that's just information? No, that, no, we should make a motion. Yeah. Uh, I called, I mean, it's the uh, Grand Company, as the landowner, has the right to one seat on the committee. Mm -hmm. So I emailed Kevin Spaulding, and he said, I'll do it. So Great. So I've moved that we appoint him to Dis the Rail Trail Committee. Discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All right. And I have so two... Moved. Two possible um, people who are possibly interested in being the uh, representative of the non-motorized users. Okay. So I'm waiting for one of them to stick their hand up and right. say they're interested. And uh, then you have a note here, Diana, um, that the town should consider appointing oh. an alternate member of the zoning board yeah. of adjustments in case any members have to be recused for potential conflicts. Yeah, we it's have. Like a, so you're looking for just a, a somebody to fill in. Yeah, I. There's. We've finally got a full five-member board, and that's great. But there's because of this town and how small it is, there's always a potential for conflicts. And before you know it, you can have two people with conflicts, and then you have three members who have to agree, or or they don't get a decision, and the person gets what they want by default, and that's not a very good way to operate. So, anyways, I I uh, made two phone calls to someone who was a former chair of the board, and she didn't call me back, so I guess that's a no. But <laughs> if we think of anyone else, but to be clear, you mean conflict of interest, right? Yes. Okay. Right, conflict yeah. of interest, right? Yeah. 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 So. And this would be someone who doesn't go to the regular meetings, but just gets called in right. when there's a need. Right. I mean, there's only two or three meetings a year for that board, mm -hmm. so uh, it's you know. But whether or not the person has to show up at every meeting, and then maybe not have to decide, you know, that might happen too. You never know if somebody's going to be challenged for a conflict until we get to the hearing. Mm -hmm. In, in the event, yeah, okay. So we just need to come up with somebody. Yeah. Okay. So that's on our list of other available positions. Right. And other available positions, just uh, it doesn't sound like we have any um, representatives, but we're still looking for rail trail members. Oh, you might have somebody for that. Mm -hmm. A health officer, mm -hmm. which you are currently serving in that role mm -hmm. as chair of the board. Um, animal control officer. Kim Silk is not in no. point him. No? We appointed him to be the pound keeper. Okay. So if there is an animal control officer and they need a place to keep a dog, he has kennels where he's going okay. to take them. A representative of the South Waste District, a representative to um, CBRPC, which stands for Center of Vermont Regional Planning Commission, yep, thank you. Transportation Advisory Committee, and then a town energy coordinator. You also have. Um, Solid waste. Yeah, I think we just said that, didn't we? Um, yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Solid waste district, yeah. All right. Okay. And so, in all of those, these uh, other representatives, if, if we don't have a, someone representing the town, um, we just miss out on information or we miss out on. Um, mm -hmm. Michael, you were on. You did the. Uh, yeah, you did the. Uh, Transportation Advisory Committee for a while. Did you feel like that was no? Worth I, I've, it for never, the I've never done that. Oh, I thought you did. I'm sorry. No, I've never done that. That's right. Chris was doing that. Yeah. I know. Basically, that committee um, reviews uh, projects within the region, um, mm -hmm. and uh, they're an advisory mm -hmm. committee to um, the Department of um, Transportation. Mm -hmm. So it is, you know, it's interesting, although now I think they're mostly still doing them by Zoom, but I was on the Solid Waste District one time, long ago, and it's very, it's just interesting to meet with people from other towns, mm -hmm. rather than their same old, same old. Yeah. If nobody steps forward for the TAC committee, then I'll, I'll, I will do that, um, but I'm still waiting for something. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we move on to updates and other business. Um, we did do that approved bill and payroll orders at the end, so mm -hmm. we still have to watch us leaf through this. Mm -hmm. um, I want to go back to that report on the attempt to eliminate parking in the right of way, uh, road right of way, which those letters went out. And five letters, out. five letters went out. Um, I know that we had communication because of the letters with two of the people who received them, mm -hmm. um, and it sounds like there was some positive, you know, there'll be some positive. Um, movements with that hopefully um the one person that we were really trying to get a letter to i don't we don't know that um she it's got hers that. or have we, we gotten get the green tag back she signed it oh so okay. she did get it yes oh okay when, so that's like, the one with recently? the um, I will have to look down in the office. I didn't even okay. see that. Since, last, since right. last meeting. Yes. Anyways, yeah. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Yep. So, and can you remind me of this? Like, in that letter, it was pretty clear that vehicles that are in the right of way or parked in the right of way will be towed um, in the event that. Uh, uh, I don't no think that was specifically stated. Okay. Um, I don't have the letter with me. I wish I did. But it was. Basically, it said, you know, it told people. I remember it was very well written and very encouraging. It was um. encouraging. It wasn't <laughs> encouraging. maybe super um, threatening. Um, Fair enough. So I don't, I don't believe that that was specifically stated. Okay. So because we can. <laughs> Basically, you know, this wow. one, one know situation it. where where the uh, one com one owner complains that the other owner sometimes parks. Too, too close to the road so she can't get her into the driveway but, but but this is not like leaving the car there it's like parking for an hour or so by the time you call somebody to yeah. tow it away specifically it I'm, I'm talk, can, talking about the, the vehicle that is parked in the road oh, yeah that's yeah. Different. Yeah. how we deal with that that's what happens so next because i'm like maybe like reaching out just to be like can we tow it um and we know we can reach her by mail at least but you went to you went there and she wasn't Willing to talk to you? Um, Chris and I tried to mm -hmm. hand deliver a letter and have a conversation. Mm -hmm. and, um, I, I actually tried also. You did? I would just happen to be driving by mm -hmm. and see a vehicle there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Which I know she drives, so I just stopped and knocked on the door. And no, the time. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Totally yeah. ignored. Yeah. We actually mm -hmm. were, we were spotted. The, <laughs> <All right>. the <laughs> property owner was outside and then inside. <laughs> went inside. So maybe it makes sense to send a letter again yeah, and saying that, and I think it'll just have to be at the town's expense. To just tow it say. At this point. But didn't we say we can get money for it, right? If we tow it to the scrapyard, they you can. Could, right, you can get something, but it's not going to be much. Okay, would it cover the cost of towing at least? So it's a wash. And I think it has to stay there for a certain oh, amount right. of time. Oh, right, you can scrap it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I think that she's uh -huh. a, she's got the right to get it out of. Uh, yeah. Out of three pounds, actually. Yeah. Point. I mean, but if you're we <laughs> ready to crush that thing <laughs> during that time, we could just store it at the garage somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. I know that's not mm -hmm. great, but I mean, yeah. if, rather than paying an impound fee mm -hmm. oh. and adding up the mm -hmm. costs, mm -hmm. what are we talking about? I think it was like 90 bucks to tow that thing, right? Or something like that. Well, that was that number came from Gates, was was willing to come get it yeah. for $90. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they would just take it and they do whatever with the with the value of the steel. So if she 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 let us know that that was good for her, good with her, then we could just do that. Yeah. But we don't want to. We shouldn't do that without her. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I think I think we have to apply some pressure. This has been going on for sure. over yeah. a year. Yeah. yeah. But I think we're going to end up having to just tow it and paying the impound fee. Or um, pay the towing fee. Or yeah. yeah, and, and, and uh, again, it's not <coughs> it's not going to break the town. Yeah, ninety bucks or just get it, get it for an hour it. with our bucket loader is not going to break the town. I mean, just think. Yeah. That think seems like maybe if she doesn't agree to that too, that seems uh, like that could cause problems as well. Mm. If the you town, made for the town to do it yeah, if the town went in with just the bucket loader and, and, and moved it. Um, that might be problematic rather than. Hiring a towing service to impound. Well, if you if you go through the motions, legal motions, 
you've warned her, yeah. you've gone through all the paperwork, the town has the right to remove that car. Whether it's mm -hmm. whether it's with the town equipment or they hire a record. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Whether the town can will have to front that money or what. It, it, I just feel like this has gone on long enough. It's time for this car to be moved. Yeah. But it's one of the problems was that, that, that the, supposedly the letter that Chris sent, we never could get we never confirmation. We never documentation of it. And yeah. the we one that, that I again. sent does not, not specifically enough. give a warning or like a yeah. date. Yeah. So I don't know if that is going to be. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's in the road. Like, do we even yeah. need permission to? have a car pulled out in the middle of a town road. I feel like I don't we don't need so. to warn someone. Like it's in Well the then we have to, you know, store it and see if they want it back. It would be preferential to just have somebody take it to gates and Right. Not have to deal with that's it. Gonna be so that lot. would require permission. Right. To do right. That one, yeah. So well, uh, not necessarily. I mean, if, if you leave a car down in Montpelier on Main Street mm -hmm. during a snowstorm, mm -hmm. it's getting towed. Mm -hmm. It's out of the way. To the impound. Whether you down. give them permission or not, mm -hmm. it's in your right of way. Right. You have to. You have to maintain your road. It's out of there. It's gone. But that's usually mm -hmm. done by like a. Bob's or something like that. Sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's so, fine. Uh, that's okay. that's yeah. totally fine with me too. In fact, yeah. I would rather have. I agree. I think that's the better move. To mm -hmm. pay a, a, a service to, to get it out of there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we're not taking on liability. We're not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. It. But but then you know in Montpelier they have an ordinance problem. They mm -hmm. have policies mm -hmm. in place that protects them from whatever liability that an mm -hmm. individual can bring to you. And I think that's what we've got to do here. We have to have some sort of a policy. If your car is here for X amount of time, it's in our way, it's got to go. Mm -hmm. And if they want their car, they have to pay the, the, the towing as well as the, the impound fees. Here's another idea. We write a, a, a letter in big, like make a sign <coughs> saying, the town is going to tow this unless you let us know by such and such a date that you don't want to get rid of the car and if you're okay with it, sign here. Something like that? Bright color? I think I, I, would, I, I think I would probably I'd be inclined just to send a letter saying to oh, the car okay. to be towed. Red, okay. Registered and, letter uh, to this particular yeah. and, and then we get it back. Once we get it back then we say we just hire somebody yeah. to yeah. tow it and be done with this. Uh want me to draft a letter and I'll make it up. I'll, I'll make yeah. it a very clear letter. Yeah, just okay. someone with more teeth. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like, you know, parking in the road is has got to be against the law. We shouldn't have a policy. I think I there is. You have to have you a policy. You can check with VTrans or VLCT. I think there is state statute. I remember yeah. Shauna Clifford sending me something, and I might still have it on my computer if I can mm -hmm. find it, um, with a similar issue back when I was a select board member. Mm -hmm. um, there are, yeah, there are different state laws about leaving your car in the middle of a public highway. If that were the case, and we could find that out, we could just tow it and not bother with another letter, right? Um, if there's statute saying that you yeah. have the right to move it, it's clear that it's been there in our way for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A long, long, long time. How do we find that, Michael? Hmm? How do we find that? Well, I, I think you could contact um, our district. Um, Chris Sear is the person that we're supposed to contact now for District 6. And he could probably answer that question or find someone that could. Or um, the LCT may have um, you know, knowledge of the statute and, and could advise you on about that also. Or we can Google it. Or you could Google it, yeah, if you want to read a bunch of state statute. Sure. All right. Um, I'll try to find the thing that Shauna Clifford sent me, but I can't guarantee that. Um, that was a few years ago. So. I will draft a letter, but if we can get confirmation that we have the right to tow it, I feel like we should just do it. But I'll draft the letter just so okay. that that's like <laughs> happening. So there was, um, I went to visit uh, George Sawyer. Yeah, okay. And he said that he was he wanted to apologize for Alfie for here being a pain. 
for him. <laughs> George Sawyer wants to apologize to you for, you know, the fact that they keep parking in the road on Maple Lane. Oh, oh, oh. okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Anyway, see, he's got actually four people working for him, which I was surprised. That uh, two of them at least are, are living down the road in the property that he bought from Dan St. John. And so they're parking down there, but the other, the barn that goes with the St. John property, he was putting some more gravel in there to create more parking. So still, when he has classes three times a year, he's still going to have a problem, but he's going to go down to uh, a neighbor across the road who has some land that they had for a log landing and see whether they can use that. So he acknowledged that he was going to take care of that. Okay. We'll Thank see. you. I got the easy one. <laughs> Uh, Next uh, item is the rules of procedure. Which is, looks like we got a. No, this is our first round call. Mm -hmm. I gave you that last time or the yeah. time before. You did. I haven't done mine. I haven't read mine. Alright. Okay. I will. Alright, we'll put it on next one. <laughs> next uh, agenda. By the time we weeks. figure out how to do things here, we won't need rules of procedure. Um, and the response to Eric Johnson. Uh, well, it, it was reported to me by someone who wasn't here but watched the HCTV and said that the board did tell Eric that we would get back, that we, we would address his concern. Do you think? I mean, I don't even know. I don't think we even have an email address. I mean, a, a mailing address for him, but. Do you think, anybody think that we should do that? I offered to him at uh, the parking yeah. lot that if he reached out to me with his questions, I would respond. Uh -huh. He has not reached out. Uh -huh. um, I feel like that's good enough, yeah. considering that... Yeah, what I was, yeah. Okay. Didn't, didn't he mention that he was having emails back and forth with Brandy? I think he is. Uh, I think Brandy does have an email address oh, for him, but okay. I don't have it. And, uh, he, we yeah. still have the mailing address that the um, tax bill goes to. Oh, really? Hmm. Do we want to? Well, I'm not sure what our response would be other than... Yeah, I was just going to put it, um, put together something that, you know, directing him to the various statutes that tell the town that if people don't pay their property taxes, the town can sell their property. Yeah. I feel like it would be opening up a can of worms. Well, he, yeah, but he knows that. But I yeah. just, if he's, if we said we would respond to him, then mm -hmm. we should. We can either respond or not. Right. Um, I don't remember right. saying that, but um, no, we it was kind did. of an intense period right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like. Because I specifically said to him, like, face-to-face, -face, mm -hmm. you can email me your concerns and I will respond. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's that should be kind of okay. enough, and he hasn't emailed me anything, mm -hmm. so, okay. I mean, I don't know. Okay. It's hard to figure out what the exact question that we would be responding to. Right. Well, it's, yeah, it seemed, it seemed to be, about, although... It got a little confusing along the way, but he was complaining that some town official was not responding to his request for a meeting, and he wanted, he thought that we were, uh, you know, somehow empowered to tell that other town official what she could do. <laughs> we're not. But, yeah, so anyways. Okay, let's forget that. Um, and then we have a, the complaints about the new parking project, um, which is on County Road, uh, near uh, <coughs> Greenwood Lake, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I know that uh, you, that you shared some email concerns. Yeah, there from was a bunch of emails residents. that were sent to um, the Lake Association, who didn't pass them along to the, pri you know, to the proper people who would know that, <laughs> know what to do about it, or take those concerns seriously. And as you recall, the lady from Newt was here that night that Eric got everything uh, put off track, so we never got to ask her any questions. But it, does, it did seem at the time that 
she had done uh, due diligence and she'd had several uh, state uh, scientists types look at the property and had, I think they had the Conservation Commission. As the Conservation, are you talking about the letter that she sent to all yeah. the landowners? Yeah, the yeah. Conservation Commission and the Planning Commission um, chairs signed, signed that, that letter. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So anyway, so hopefully, it'll, I mean, I just hope it's done. And now the person who's complaining. Um, the, the Greenwood Lake Association, um, the uh, Skip Marcassani, did respond to her in that letter. Um, and then there was one landowner, the clo camp closest to um, you know, the end, the mm -hmm. guardrails that also responded. I had a number of conversations with him oh. and everything was resolved with mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. um, so. Well, the one who's complaining that I just got, I mean, this letter he wrote like in March and I just got it like Friday. Oh. Wound its way around to, yay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All kinds of complaints like, are, are we going to make sure, are we going to police it? You know, make sure that people aren't parking there to go over and steal things from his camp. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know. We can't police well, much of anything around here. It, it's private property. Exactly. And yeah. The property owner paid to get to right. put it in there. Right. So it really has minimal effect on the town. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Well, the town yeah. has it was minimal in, basically a curb cut that we approved. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Right. Yeah. So, and he still was the email that I saw, which you guys may or may not have seen. Mm -hmm. That person who was concerned about all that stuff is in direct contact with Sophie anyway, okay. and that's mm -hmm. who yeah. he should be addressing all this mm -hmm. to, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so, well, they were compla complaining that the town should have been having meetings and. You know, well, he should have we said thought it was kind of a no-brainer. When he got really. the letter, and like, yeah, I know. He brought it up before, right. you know, if he had, if he really was yeah. concerned with it. Mm-hmm. Kind of late. Anyways, okay, so. And then, um, looks like uh, <clears throat> there's a suggestion that we reschedule our next meeting from the 27th to the 28th. It's fine by me. Um, 27th is Memorial Day. I second that. What day is the 28th? Like, yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Memorial Day is obviously a Monday then. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to be. Okay. Let's yep. do that then. You're right. Now. And then the last uh, thing. Memorial Day, that's soon. Norm, thanks for coming here on the agenda next, but I don't think it requires an executive session, so we can. Um, we did discuss this. Earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I I can run through some of the stuff, and then you'll decide whether you want an executive session or not. Okay. Yeah. I think, uh, just to um, bring everyone up to date. Um. Yeah. So uh, obviously, we put out an RFP for the mobile hazard mitigation plan, and um, we got a total of uh, four responses, three of which uh, met the criteria for uh, for submission. Um, and Michael, of course, recused himself from further work on this until this is done, and I can point this whole thing back, back to Michael again, which would be fine by me. Um, but the uh, so the the committee uh, met, and uh, the um, the three people that proposed were um, let's see, there was um, well, CVRPC submitted a proposal. Uh, Paul Luciano from uh, OPH Consulting Services did. As What's well it called as again? OPH, OPH Consulting okay. Services, um, and uh, Stephanie Magnum uh, from Steam Solutions. Now, um, OPH or uh, Paul Luciano's uh, price was uh, ninety-two fifty-six, and um, he uh, projected time uh, to do the project was six months. Um, CVRPC's price was $9,434 and planned to do it in eight months and seemed price was $9,400 and the time nine months. Um, so we, um, the, the committee went ahead and um, 
uh, took a look at their, their submission, of course, as well as a sample of their work. We each, each of them submitted a sample of a uh, completed plan that they've mm -hmm. done, and we checked references. And uh, our recommendation was is that uh, to go with OPH um, because, um, well, they have the, the key, key thing there is the quickest time turnaround for it because they, the town is exposed by not having a plan in place, which mm. the pre previous plan expired. Um, and also it has, has the lowest price and also mm. it excellent references. So that's a summation of uh, where we stand with it and the question is what mm. what's your pleasure. So. Who else is on this committee? It's me and it's um John. John Gordon. Yeah, John Gordon and uh, Jim Schweitz. Oh, yeah. Well, Michael's after you get done with the bidding, he can still work, right? He can still yeah, yeah. That, that's okay. the whole plan. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought you said that because he was going to be recused forever or something. No, well, that's okay. just part of the evaluation process yeah. because it's yeah. conflict of yeah. interest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> with my role with CBRPC. Okay. I move that we accept uh, the committee's recommendation to approve the bid from OPO for ninety OPH, yeah. OPH for ninety two fifty six. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks for doing all the legwork. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, you know, there, there were, um, you know, three good proposals, so it did yeah. take mm -hmm. some work to evaluate it and, you know, and go through that process and mm -hmm. two point values, et cetera, et cetera, and trying to see who would be best in the best interest of the town. So the prices were, were similar, so. Yeah. Did you get a copy of the purchasing policy from Robin today? Mm -hmm. So you're all good with that? I'll memorize it, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> kind of behind it. No. You did it happen to do it all right. Over eight thousand dollars you have to go out for a public bid and you did that. Yeah. yeah it was publicly advertised, Michaelson. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The ads yeah, and that, <laughs> that went out and the RPs went out and, I, and as you know there was a, a snafu with one one proposer that uh, did not get oh, yeah. get the get it in mm -hmm. on time. Um, mm -hmm. and um, so um, so it didn't play out to be able to deal with that. Mm -hmm. That individual didn't, and we conversed and tried to see if there was a way that it didn't. Play yeah. Out. So. Did you ever find out what it was that they did wrong? Um, no, I asked for a copy of, uh, of, of the, the letter. Yeah, yeah, to see just how come it got returned. And I didn't yeah, they didn't really care. Okay. Yeah, no, so, <laughs> was not yeah. a big issue for them, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I think we still have to approve bills and payroll. Well, orders. there are some people here, and they they didn't show up in time for the public comment, but they're sitting quietly, and I don't know if we should let them talk or not. Yeah, of course, <laughs> that's a board's pleasure. Steve, Mary, anything you wanna? I'm just here to. You just hear us. Keep your to us. Hold our public officials accountable and oh. so <laughs> say thank you for your work. We're oh. just we're just here to. But since you're here, good to see you. So I wanted to mention it would be really nice if your work product had a little more um, out, you know, a, a bigger piece of the uh, web page. <laughs> something, something to make people know that it, I mean it, it got put on the web page, just did all that, and you did all that work, but then there was really not much of a hullabaloo about, look, here's this great thing that this nice girl did for us. How could we do that? Hmm. Can, you, hmm. can you say what the project is, just so people know? Yeah. It was a, it was a map, an mm -hmm. interactive map of everything that's going on in Woodbury. Mm -hmm. Historic sites and recreational areas and I think there might be a feature with the Google Maps to have, I don't know if it would be called like a thumbnail, but to have like a picture of it on, like we have a map already on the Woodbury webpage, mm -hmm. 
um, and it pops mm. up with like a, a little version of it. Mm. So there might be a way to do that with my map. Mm. I'm not sure what tab you'd want to put it under. You might be able to put it under the maps tab mm -hmm. um, with the other one, but mm. I'm not sure. I can play around with mm. it and see. <laughs> So, I don't know, it just seemed like it was a really nice thing that was done, and then I hate to see it just sit there. You know? It has gotten a ton of views. Oh, really? Which is, like, I didn't, I didn't expect that, but I checked oh, it, like, great. before I went to college yeah. or right when it got posted. Uh -huh. um, and it has, like, 2,500 views right now, which oh, wow. is up, like, a thousand since. Oh. Really? I checked it a few months ago. Maybe if we had awesome. a little summary or something that we could put on the the uh, uh, Facebook page every once in a while mm -hmm. to remind people to go look at it. Yeah. Sounds like they're looking at it on their own though. Yeah, So will you close the meeting after you approve the bills? Okay. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll leave that for a play good now. Okay. Let you know what time that is? Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Right. Yeah. 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 Good to yeah. see you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you liking UVM? One payroll. I love that. Yeah. 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 The yeah. payroll. She did a warrant for each payroll. Randy did up a warrant today that combines these three into one warrant. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you guys want to sign the one warrant or if you want to sign each one of the warrants. Probably sign the one, right? No. Or so we're just going to look at our bills. Makes sense to me. Yep. Now, if you guys, if you guys want to go through the warrants, what do I think we could do that all together? Uh, either way, or I was going to hand these over to you if you wanted to oh, look, okay. and I'll look at some. However you guys want to do it. Um, Diane, I actually think it's good <coughs> if we're doing it a little different. Personally, a little if we're doing, if we're looking at different things, yeah, to okay. me that's a good thing. Okay, yeah. Um, do you want me to wait? Do sign them? Drop them if you want. Can we just start with the town clerk's office tomorrow? Sure. Okay. Thank you all. Good night. Good to see good you night. guys. Nice to you. That would be okay if each one of us like looked through our pile was good. We could. Yeah. You know, just plug like, in. Yeah, yeah. I'm good with that. I think that is. Okay. You're okay with that, right? I'm not sure where you went. Like if I look through this pile. And I planned with my signature. I yeah. checked okay. for the board, right. and, okay. and if you feel comfortable putting your signature on there, I think that makes sense. Like I was telling um, Lizzie, I don't usually. I, I just should look to see right. what we're paying to who, not whether or not it's matching up on the warrant. But <laughs> that's the auditor job. Were all of these chairs out? But or you got them off those Yeah, there. there was a pile of them behind where Jerome is sitting. Okay. And there was a few over here. I'll put these over here. But okay. But they're not hung up. There's not enough room to hang them right. up. Okay. Yeah. So Jerome? Yeah. Could you put those chairs over behind where you're sitting? I think, yeah. Okay, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Just catching itself up. It, so when it. I get it down to the office, I will get them. I see. All right. So in that case, we're good. Okay. Well, have a good evening, everybody. Peace. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks, Robin. Yeah. This one is not. Good. So I I forgot to ask her, but I think she's. I think they did that floor for uh, Lizzie. Oh, I saw the truck there with the shoot for the concrete. Yeah. yeah so they must have. And they were uh, one day. I think it was Thursday. They were going to come in and do the seal coating. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So that means you can. Oh, Mike could come do his thing. Do, doing the, uh, did you find somebody to do the sheetrock and all the trim and painting and everything? Yeah. Yep. Um. So I don't know if he should reach out to Robin about coming in, just as far as times that work and stuff. Um. But yeah, I'll put that on my notes of things to do is let him know that the. So have you, you? Who is it? It's Michael Ferrier. Okay. He's gonna do the sheetrock, and then Nikima Olin's gonna do the paint, um, just like sheetrock finishing, mud and tape painting. Oh. Um, and then he'll come back and do the trim after oh, she does okay. all that stuff. So yeah, um, I was thinking as far as the uh, heating people go when they're ready to come. Um, oh, gotcha. But maybe they could just use the bulkhead. That has a separate key. Yeah. Um, right, they probably want to use the bulk cab. I'm sure they want yeah, to well, use the bulk the cab. heating people probably would. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, have sheetrock too, I guess. It would be easier to bring in there. Yeah. There's some, um, last time I was in there, there's some plywood piled up and stuff that needs to be in moved the, so that. In the basement? In the, in the uh, bulkhead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe it's gone by now. There it is. Oh, but so you think that only one of were you saying that only one of us should go through it? Well, I'm comfortable. Like, if you guys go through it, I'm comfortable signing. Mm -hmm. um, based on. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sign that one. Uh, that's not me, right? That's me. That's me. Kind of looks like mine. <laughs> I know. Things <laughs> so only got one. Yeah, so, so interesting though to see how much it costs to get a shoe wreck and mushroom shoe. You'd like to know that. <laughs> so, Dana, these two, if you're good with it, me and Chris have something to do with it. Yeah. So, this one is the payroll buttons. There's three payroll deals. Mm -hmm. so and so we they created you? one sheet, and I just signed all of them because I was like, it's just easier to sign okay. everything. Um, we could have just signed that one, but. Got it. Um, Uh, what do we do? We shrink the tables. Oh, we didn't turn it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. We're just yeah. sitting there waiting for us. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Uh, do we have to wait for Diana to sign everything? Hmm? You want to adjourn? Oh sure, yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Aye.